Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 114 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. Well, looks like Kiesner wants to fight with us. So, if I was walking around the castle with Fia one day, and we hear footsteps headed towards us, running in fact. Avaro, Fia. So, there's something that she'd like to consult with us about. So, she's clearly smiling. You know, giving off from her whole body these sunny disposition. Okay, so what happened? When you say consult, it doesn't look like well, you look rather too bright for any trouble. Yeah, she seems really happy today. So, when Kisner first came to Infru's kingdom, there was a village that took care of her for a while. It was a small place, but it was warm. And, you know, one of those gathering places for people. When she went to check on where the castle was in the moment, it seems like we're close to the village. Which is news to us, being, uh, you know, knees deep in dragons and elves. In other words, this would be a time in Kisner's life when she hadn't yet joined the Night Corps. Alright, got it. So, you want to go there. That's it. And she nods. So, since she joined the Komodo Dragons Force, she's been busy and hasn't had the chance to go visit them. But, since they're so close at the moment, she figured she would go and greet them for again. So, it'll be a little distance from the castle. But, you don't mind, right? Well, of course. So go ahead and reminisce with the villagers and take the time you want. Uh, Fia, for her part, uh, smacks her palm, her fist into her palm like she's just thought of something. So why don't we all go and greet them? Since I got along with Kisner and Alfia would like to get along with them as well. Well, she'd be happy to. Oh god, some mood killers come along. Anyway, it seems we're the representatives of the castle, so he wants to come talk to us. So there's this sweaty guy running up. We... What is it? So coming on close to us, the, he shows an ex, a surprised expression. So, Kisner, what are you doing here? Oh, you're from the village. Good timing. She was just about to go there and see everybody. Notice that she doesn't even say his name. Ha. Uh, well, he doesn't have a name. So yeah, seems like one of the guys Kisner knows. So that's what Kisner says, but... The villager has something else on his mind. 
Yeah, I mean, he ran here so fast he's violently out of breath and all. To say nothing of the fact that he's wounded in places. Seems like it was pretty bad. Wait a minute, what happened? Oh, it's horrible. If this goes on, the village will be... Yeah, slow down, take a deep breath. Let's get a proper explanation out of you. So yeah, he takes a moment to calm down just the slightest bit. Okay, so this guy went to a, a mountain in order to get herbs. Medicinal herbs, specifically. And then, by coincidence, he met these bad-looking guys with weapons. Off in the distance. And weapons not... Well, not only weapons, but also a large number of monsters along with them. And those guys were headed towards the village. So the village is about to be attacked. So hearing this, Kisner decides to... Oh. Kisner rem comes to Kisner's mind what these guys are. So it sounds like a certain bandit gang that's been extending their power lately. So before, she's gotten reports as part of the Komodan Dragon's Force. They move around from place to place and attack villages here and there. And it seems they've come into this territory. So if they're ever to make use of monsters, that means they're a pretty powerful bandit gang, huh? So because there were so many of them, this guy was spotted while he was running away, probably towards the castle. And he was lucky in that he was able to spot them before he was attacked, but pretty soon they'll be arriving at the village. <laughs> okay, so, saying that, he bows so deeply, he seems like he's going to hit his head on the ground. So, he heard about us in rumors. So, please, save us. And if anything they want us to pay, they'll pay. So, he's pretty desperate. And... Avaro looks at Fia and Kisner. Clearly, the leading part in this will go to Kisner, actually. So, she's the one. Alright, thanks for the report. Leave it to us, we'll head out immediately. So, He's extremely relieved and gives one of those nervous smiles. In fact, he's almost so happy he could cry. Thanks so much. Truly, you have saved us, etc. And in the beginning, this big thing, he was actually... He was actually afraid that it might be a ally of the bandit gang. But he heard in the rumors the turtle-looking big thing 
is walking. The walking big turtle looking thing is not bad, guys, but actually allies that will save you. Huh. Well, we've got a pretty good... Oh, it looks like there are monsters coming from the sky. Well, we were about to tell the villager guy that everything was all right when we hear a scream nearby. So, somebody call the night force. Wow. Uh, so, it seems like the village isn't the only place that's in trouble. Hey, somebody's screaming. Let's see what's happening. So if there are monsters attacking as well, could it be that in addition to heading towards that village, they're also coming here? So, the castle is also being attacked. So this bandit gang, with their monsters, seeing as we were nearby the village, decided to attack the castle as well. Or attack the castle instead? Who knows? Well, the castle is big and it stands out. Furthermore, since it works as a company, yeah, well, its work as a, the Guava Kunica company has also gotten rumors spread about well outside of its range. So they'd obviously, the bandit gang obviously would have noticed us. So they're attacking from the sky. Damn it, our gate's one of our best defenses. Yeah, normally if they're attacking from the ground, they have a really hard time getting in. So this bandit gang is a load of trouble for us. But fortunately, in this particular misfortune, this means that they aren't attacking the village. Oh no, Havara says aloud. We don't know that they aren't attacking the village. So, we're in a bit of a bind not knowing the extent of their forces and the extent of their, uh, what is it? How they split up their forces either. It could be in order to facilitate their attack on the village. They also send some forces over here to distract us. So, th so the main force could get away or something to that effect. So what do we do? We want to go save everybody in the village, but... Well, no, we want to save everybody in the castle, but we can't leave the village alone. Hmm, that's true. What exactly the bandit gang has planned, we don't know, but in any case, we can't leave these monsters attacking from the sky alone. And we also don't know that they've given up on attacking the village. So we're going to have to split up our forces. In which case, the most appropriate people persons... Okay, it's singular, but... It's ambiguous in the Japanese. Okay. Most appropriate person to send is Kisner. We're counting on you. For what? So we're going to ask her to head directly to the village and make sure they don't get wiped out. After all, you know the territory. So, head over to the village. <laughs> But she can't. She considers it a better, better course of action that she stay on the castle. Wow. She's refusing an order. 
Has that ever happened? Anyway, she's biting her lip and shaking her head as she says this. Kiss nip. So clearly this is different from how she usually acts. It seems she's afraid of something and actually shaking a bit. So we still don't know what our enemies are up to. Well, we speculated that they're attacking the castle in order to distract the, to distract us from protecting the village. An attack on the village could also be a distraction upon, well, us as well, if their true objective was the castle. So if that were the case, then strengthening the defense of the castle would be the best course of action. Kisner, are you saying this seriously? This is the village that took care of you and they're being attacked. And might be being attacked. So she's sweating and clearly has some fear mixed in, as she says. But she doesn't want to lose the lord that she serves the second time. And she doesn't want to regret jumping into action a, a second time. So she has to avoid the case where the people in the castle would be killed while she's off in the village. Yeah, it's been a while, but she told us about her old lord. Remember, some civilians in the vicinity had been under attack and she decided to rush off and help them. In fact, her lord encouraged her to do so. But that was a distraction that allowed assassins to get to him. He was killed and she lost her lord, so she was kind of, I wouldn't say excelled, but you know, when you have a place and you lose it, she had no place in the country anymore. Anyway, she's having flashbacks to that right now. So now she has two places she wants to protect. And she knows that she can't go to both of them. And in this situation, Kisner wants to avoid the mistake she made in the past. So she actually doesn't know which lives to prioritize. So what she's afraid of is that the people she isn't there to protect will die. Yeah, that would be a pretty sucky place to be in. <laughs> well, Kisner, don't go acting like you're the only person who's going to be fighting here. So we are on the castle. We're your allies, and you can count on us. So, protecting the lives of the villagers in the castle is us company, uh, the company's job. We know they're where they're coming from, so we're going to head over and fix it. And that's why she feels that she should stay on the castle and continue to fight. Well, fight here. The villager. The village doesn't have any ability to resist these, this bandit gang. That's why Kisner should go first and protect them. That's why we want her to do that anyway.
So this villager who came to the castle to ask for our help looks at Kisnir with, you know, those eyes that say you're our only hope. So, Okay, so it isn't a very big village. Even if it's only Kisnir who comes, they would be extremely grateful. Well, she knows the village's size and everything, but... It's the village that took care of you, isn't it? So she tells Kisnior to believe. We'll be alright. And in fact, the fact that this attack happened here, while we're so close, we should think of it as a good thing. Because we're here, we can protect both of them. So, with Fia's encouragement, well, Kisner's still looking down and being a little lost. <laughs> well, we can't stand around being worried about things here. We're counting on you, Kisner. <laughs> but... Yeah, she's still worried about that past stuff. Well, so this tragedy that happened in her past because she actually listened to her lord before. Yes, that happened, but she needs to overcome it. So in the past, her lord whom she respected so much, she wasn't able to protect. But at that time, didn't you protect some people? Are you trying to say your regret is that, that you didn't let those other people die? No, no, that isn't it at all. So she didn't regret that she protected those people. But her obligation whom she should protect, the priority she had should have been set. Alright, Avar was telling her that the places that you can't reach, reach, we will protect instead. So, please, believe in us. The people that you want to protect we, your allies, will be able to protect. So her expression hardens a bit. Come on, Kisner, aren't you going to introduce us to the people of the village? There are no lives which it's okay to abandon. In order to protect both the castle and the village. We need you to go, now. In the end, that's for all of our parts. For all of our benefit. So leave the battle on this side to us. And once we've taken care of these guys, we'll follow you. So she pulls her lips together and it seems almost like she's going to cry, but says... <laughs> so, Avaro, you say things the same as her old lord did. Now, here's one thing he said. Wield your blade in order to benefit the most people. Yeah, that was her his parting words to her, wasn't it? That was his way of encouraging her. And, yeah, we are saying similar things to her, aren't we?
アバロンフィア私はあなたたちを信じる Understood アバロンフィア She will believe in you 城塞の大将は任せた私は村へ向かう So the situation on the castle is up to us and she is going to head to the village So her hesitation is disappeared and without looking back she runs off like the wind So we'd better protect this castle properly huh All right, let's get this done and then head off to the village as soon as we can We This is good. It seems like she's made it in time. So there are damage to buildings, but it seems that nobody has lost their lives yet. So it's all right. Since she's come here, she won't let anybody let won't let these guys do as they please any longer she swears on her sword that she'll protect you all right sounds good i need to defeat all the enemies and close all of the monster vortexes vortices kisner can't die and neither can these other npcs okay let's deploy people oh no can't deploy anybody. Kiss near solo battle. Sounds good. Oh, I'm still on my fire sword. A holy sword would do. Well, not much better against the undead. But let's do it. Hmm, somewhat better. Hmm. Okay, captures are good. That guy, however, is not vulnerable against holy, it's vulnerable against lightning. So we've got a vortex over here, a vortex way up there, and a vortex down here. Yeah, this could be hard kind of just by case near. But we'll handle it. Mm -hmm. Holy. Yeah, almost enough to kill it. Huh, oh well. Ha! <laughs> Revival skill does you no good. Well, they say don't let these guys die, but they're not in too much danger. All right, Kisner, we've kept you waiting, haven't we? So the situation in the can castle is fine. So now all we need to do is save the people of the village. Everybody, you came as you said you would. As you declared. <laughs> This is just silly. Do I have to translate it? Ah. <sighs> okay. So, we are such reliable allies. She is so happy. That when she was thinking of these two places she wanted to protect so badly, we've We are able to in the end be able to protect both of them. 
Now she doesn't have to regret her past anymore and she can continue to move forward. So prepare yourselves. You villains who would attack innocent people. This village will be protected by us, the Gualacuna Company. Oh hey, we met up with Varo again. So we can deploy from the home base up there. I don't do this very often, but I'm going to take advantage of the opportunity. Let's see, actually. And I have a couple of level 32 characters to deploy down this side. Now, what could I possibly have been talking about? I haven't taken the time to explain it, but Katarito's teenager form has a useful skill. Which I'm going to use here. It's called teleport. Let me show you what it does. Now an unfortunate thing about summoning is if I'm here, then I could summon here, except it's green controlled. Although they're my allies, I can't summon my Yuiki into them. But I teleported her into this blue space. Oh, come to think of it, I couldn't teleport her into that room either. Anyway. Since she's here, she can deploy a couple of Yuiki in order to save the day. Yeah. You're in. You're number one here. Punch this guy until he falls down. Next up. Oh man. I have Karin all set up for... I forget what I had him doing. But he doesn't have capture on. Next up, rooting. We. Now we've got things pretty much covered. Haha. -ha. Do you have your holy shields on? No. Oh, and a capture rope. Oh geez, she had the mercy ring on. That wouldn't have killed them. Actually, it's against the odds that she's going to kill them either. Yeah, there you go. Still.
All right, thanks for everything, Katharito. All right, everything's pretty much set at this point. Jeez, stupid bad dad. Grr. Eat it! I countered you and killed you. Ha! These guys are hardly worth fighting in terms of experience. They give like three. And they're two levels. Three, two? Mm. Two levels higher than we are. Oh, good. Holy Hammer's already equipped. Stupid bat dodging. Hmm, Kisno took a decent amount of damage killing those, what, two, three skeletons and a Pekogama. Look, Faze, you have no chance of even doing any damage to these guys. Ooh. Determination skill kicked in for extra damage. Hmm, well, whatever. Huh. What is going Let's see, there's actually a good chance it's going to bat dodge its way into surviving another turn. Okay, collect goddess card. Hey, an item. A dark light flower. Okay, whatever. Oh, whom should I give the experience to? Hey, Shinsele. You need more. Great. That kills enemies. That closes the vortex. And that clears the stage. Alright, that being done, I've been recording long enough, so thank you for watching and I will see you next time.